guys, what's up? It's me, Catherine, and today we're gonna do a Q&A. It has definitely been a hot sec since we have done one of these, but this is definitely something that I'm going to be doing quite regularly here on my second channel. Most of the time when I get Q&A questions, it's usually off of Twitter or Instagram or my Facebook page, so definitely follow me there if you want to submit questions for the next Q&A. But without any further ado, uh, let's just hop into it. Let's head to Twitter where I got today's questions. Badoop, badoop, boop, boop. Okie doke. Jonna, oh my god, Jonna asked me a question. Hi, girl. Uh, Jonna, who is another YouTuber here, says, do you have any interest in film slash television acting or are you planning on sticking with theater? What TV show would you love to be on? Great question. Um, I, I've done like a little bit of screen work, but the, the vast majority of what I do is theater. I'd be down to do screen stuff. It's just a very different muscle that I don't think I've worked out enough on, if that makes sense. But I'd be super, super down. What TV show would I be on? Ooh, ooh, that's really hard because like I don't really see myself on the TV shows that I love. Like I love Game of Thrones, Weeds, Shameless, I'm doing House of Lies right now, Stranger Things, like the shows that I love I don't really see myself on so I have no idea, I don't know. Karis says, do you tap? If yes, how long have you been doing it? If not, why not? Good question. I. I have tapped in shows, but I wouldn't consider myself a tapper. I, I really wouldn't consider myself a tapper. I can pick up tap choreography and I can do it, but I'm not on the level that I'd be like, yeah. I'm a tapper. And the reason that I don't take tap regularly is because every time that I start taking tap, I end up booking a show and then I don't have time to go to class and I end up dropping the class. So yeah. I would really, really like to get into it though. Also, I am obsessed with this sweater. It is so, so huge. I am living my comfy sweater dream best life. Shiksa Goddess asks, dream roles you have that are of the opposite gender or shows where the ensemble excites you more than a role? Uh, dream role of the opposite gender, of course, Bobby from Company, probably Billy Bigelow from Carousel, Valjean, Marius, Angeros. Sweeney. I'd love to do Sweeney. I'd love to do Anthony. I love Anthony. Anthony is so underappreciated. My gosh, what a man. What other shows do I love? Ooh, uh, Peter or Jason from Bear, for sure. I would love, love, love to be in the ensemble for Parade. I there, There's not really a role for me in that show, but I'd love to be a factory girl slash featured ensemble in Parade. What a good show, my gosh. And question number two, how do you maintain your voice for multiple shows if you need to sing something vocally demanding? Your voice is a muscle. You wouldn't, you know, not work out and just immediately try to run a marathon, you know? You train for months and months for a marathon so that you build up to it. So I'd say putting in that training and putting in that time is really, really important to do a big show like that. Aside from that, speaking in proper vocal placement where I am not right now, I've got some cute vocal fry going on. I should be talking up here because that's where my voice wants to be, but I will sound even more annoying than usual, so I'm not. Um, uh, and also like steaming, taking good care of your voice, getting enough sleep, getting hydrated, that stuff always helps too. Gracie says, I know you're a soprano, but if you could play any mezzo alto role, which would it be? Ooh, I love that. Joe March in Little Women. Little Women has like a really big soft spot in my heart. I'd love to do that. Ooh, Queenie in Wild Party, of course. I can, I can sing some mixy belty stuff, but it's not my forte, especially shows that are like really, really belt heavy. I think that if I worked on it, I could probably do Ivy in Bear, but it would be great if I just woke up with an amazing pop rock belt and could do it tomorrow. Sophia Loves Clayne asks, one, do you have any thoughts on company? I love that musical, LOL. I feel like I talk about company 24 seven. I am utterly obsessed with company. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. And number two, if you could make a musical based on a TV show or movie, which one would it be? Who would write the songs and who would you cast? Ooh, that's a big question. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but I would be very, very down for a musical of Juno. That is my favorite movie of all time, and I think it would work really, really well. I don't wanna say Barrett Wilbert Weed just because like everyone loves Barrett Wilbert Weed and wants to put her in everything, but there's also a reason why we love her. I think she's fantastic. Ooh, or like Katherine Gallagher could do it. I'd be super down for that. I'm not sure who would write the music, but I would want like a Sarah Bareilles, Ingrid Michaelson kind of feel. John asks, what song 
song makes you squeal with delight every time it comes on because you know all the words and can totally rock out to it and just have fun. Uh, for me, it's Be a Dentist from Little Shop of Horrors. That's funny. Um, gosh, it, it depends on what kind of mood I'm in, but I do like a solid amount of headbanging to like leave Luann from 35mm, half of the score of bear, half the score of hair. I like how they rhyme. Michelle Melody 9 asks, what do you do to cope with stress? That's a great question. Stress is everywhere. I, I'm just in general like a very high strung person. Something that helps me a lot is spending time with friends and family not just being alone because I can kind of turn into like a weird little hermit if I don't hang out with people so like forcing myself to hang out with people definitely helps. Making lists also really really helps. If I can see written out in front of me what I need to do then I always feel a lot better. Lechuga at Bad Music Pun, excellent name, excellent name asks if you could redo any show you've previously done which would it be and why that's a great question um i would love a chance to do promises promises again i played fran kublik a few years ago and i think i th there was a lot going on a in my personal life b with that show um, but most of all, I didn't really understand who she was, I don't think. I, I understood that she had like low self-esteem, but I, I think that was about as far as it went. I would love to do it again with a really, really heavy focus on like the period vintage-y aspects of that because like, for instance, I watched Mad Men after I did that show and watching Mad Men really changed the way that I viewed that era and, and had that kind of influence. So I'd love a chance to do that show again because it's it's really good and very underappreciated and it's fun. It's fun. Alex asks, Hi Catherine, I wanted to know if you have any advice on time management for high school students involved in theater. All these things come flying at me such as mountains of homework, extracurriculars, outside of school, volunteering, a job, help. Yes, I totally got you. I have a whole video on how to balance all of those things. It's on my main channel. I think it's called How to do high school and theater. It's not called that, but it's something like that. So go check it out. I'll try to link it down below. Mac McGregor asks a little two-parter for you. What is your best piece of advice for auditioning for straight plays? I would say know the play and know the character really, really well. Make choices about who they are. Build this person out as a full person. We're only seeing two hours in their life. They have you know, 10 years or 15 years or 20 years or 40 years of life experience outside of those two hours. We just see a little snippet of who they are. So build everything out. And question number two, if you have been in any, what is your favorite play that you have been a part of? Probably two, two answers to that. My favorite play that I've ever been in was All My Sons. I played Anne. I just love All My Sons. It's such a good play. It's so underrated. Um, it's it's just fantastic. And then my favorite role that I've ever done in a play, I played Abigail Williams in The Crucible, which is like spectacular and so good. I'd love to do that again, or I'd love to be like Mercy or Mary Warren, any one of the girls in The Crucible. I think it would be interesting to go back and do now that I'm a little bit older. I think I was 15 or 16 when I played Abigail, and I think I was just a little too young to get it. Or I, I don't even think I was too young for any of these roles. It's just that now that I'm older and I have more life experience, I have more to draw on and I think that would be more interesting. But that is where I am going to end today's Q&A. Again, follow me if you want to submit to more Q&As. I'll definitely be doing more in the future. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>